All right, let's talk about science fiction. First, what is science fiction? Science fiction, which is often shortened to sci-fi or even SF, is a kind of story. It's a particular genre of literature. Science fiction stories could be novels, movies, TV shows, comic books, short stories, lots of different things. It's often about the future. It can be about imaginary new science and inventions that people might create in the future. Things such as spaceships, time machines, robots. Science fiction stories are often set in a world that's different from the real world in any number of ways. They can have science and tools that are advanced enough they don't really exist in reality. And science fiction stories often take place on other worlds or in space, sometimes uh, they're space travel or alien creatures. What's the difference between sci-fi and fantasy? Science fiction is different from fantasy in that fantasy stories often have magic. And so the explanation for why these unusual things occur is that they're just magical. Um, or they're just things that don't exist like dragons. In sci-fi, the rationale for why these things happen that don't in real life is some kind of scientific answer. A famous science fiction writer, Isaac Asimov, he said that science fiction is possible. Like theoretically, at some point in the future, it could happen, but fantasy is not. So why science fiction? Why do people write science fiction? Writers often use this genre to explain everyday questions or problems by putting them in the future. So imagine that it were this way. Let's see if we can figure it out now. Usually the world becomes very different so that people can notice important ideas. H.G. Wells' The Time Machine is one of the earliest and best science fiction novels. It was published in 1895 and it's considered by many people to be the first real novel of its genre. There are a couple different types of science fiction. There's hard science fiction, which is special because it uses true facts, actual scientific sciences and theories, things like physics, astrophysics, chemistry, things like that come up a lot in hard science fiction and it will explain the science of what's going on. Also, hard science fiction can show worlds that more advanced technology may make possible in the future. Many current predictions of the future come from the hard science fiction subgenre, people imagining future possibilities. Soft science fiction is a little different because it takes ideas from social sciences, such as psychology, economics, poli sci, sociology, and anthropology, looking at people and how they interact with each other more than those physical sciences we just looked at. It can be mostly about character and emotion. Ray Bradbury wrote a, or he's known for writing lots of, um, lots of things, but a lot of short stories, um, things like Fahrenheit 451, really well known for that. But he won a prize called the SFWA Grandmaster, science fiction, and uh, writes a lot of science fiction. Some social science fiction and soft science fiction can be types of speculative fiction, for example, utopian or dystopian stories, imagining what could be. George Orwell's 1984 and Huxley's Brave New World are examples of dystopian stories. So these are some characteristics we often find in science fiction. They will often give new names and labels for things we're already familiar with, and you'll see that when we read The Giver. It takes things that are normal and puts a new label on it. And that causes us to really think about the connotations of the words that we use. Science fiction often deals with an extension or amplification of current attitudes or trends. What's something that is going on right now or that people care about right now? And what would happen if that got bigger or more intense or continued for longer? Science fiction often has scientists who have manipulated the society or the setting in some way so that things are different. It's often beyond human experience. It has things going on that don't happen in real life. Science fiction contains events that work together and are believable in the story's context and setting. So we can imagine in that future, if they had developed science to that point, things like this could happen. 
And it is a suspension of reality where we know it's not true, but maybe it could be true someday.